Oh, lady. Well, this is a surprise. Have you all come to see me, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I should never have expected this. Oh, well, it's really extremely kind of you. I'm very glad to see you. You know, I'm very glad you've come, because I like people to see me. I don't know how it is, but people who only know me from reading my books, or sometimes even from seeing my plays, get a most unpleasant impression of me. And uh, the people who really uh, meet me, as you have been kind enough to meet me, uh, to meet me now, well, they see that I am a most harmless person. I'm quite a kindly person, you know. But uh, uh, still, I, uh, it's not necessary for me always to look as genial as I'm trying to look now. Of course, I can put on the other thing, I, uh, for instance. Now, that is, uh, that is what I call my Mussolini study. They, uh, by the way, uh, I think in justice to Signor Mussolini, I ought to tell you that he has a well, very wonderful head. He has a wonderful brow which comes down to here. But the difficulty is that he can't take it off. Now, if you watch me, I can put on uh, that imposing look that terrifies you, the Mussolini look. But, now just watch. I can take it off. Now, Signor Mussolini cannot take it off. He is condemned, although he is a most amiable man, he is condemned to go through life with that terrible and imposing expression which really does a great deal of injustice to his kindly nature. But I, I can put it on and I can take it off and do all sorts of things. Uh, one thing, of course, that I'm very glad uh, that you've all seen me here tonight is that you'll know me when you uh, see me again. Now, I'll tell you something that happened to me the other day. I was at Conway in North Wales. I was in the street. A little girl came over to me. She pulled out an autograph book and she said, please give me your autograph. Well, I said, what do you want my autograph for? I'm not Mr. Lloyd George. Oh, she said, I know you're not Mr. Lloyd George. Well, I said, now who am I? And she said, oh, I don't know. I've forgotten the name, but my father told me to go and get your autograph. Now, let me, it's quite possible that some little girl who is here on this occasion may imagine that she can get an autograph out of me that, that way, because I gave that little girl the autograph but you won't get me a second time, so it's not the slightest use trying that on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid I'm always an extremely busy man. At least I pretend I am. And I'm afraid I must go back to work. Uh, I must say good night. Oh, by the way, stop. Uh, this may be a matinee. Good night may not be the right thing to say. However, call it good afternoon, good day, and anyhow, goodbye and good luck. Good luck.